I'm happy to say guys, in patch 2.3 we have yet another buff to the FAMAS, which sure as hell will solidify it as a top contender for the medium meta pick, finally giving more weapon variation for the class and high level comp. We have a new map added to the rotation of power shift and more transparency in the rank system. Not sure if it's going to fix anything, but something is better than nothing, am I right boys? So before we get into that, if you found this video informative, please smash that like button. It's a small button for you, but makes a massive impact on my channel. Also, subscribe for all things to finals. As usual, I have timestamps down below so you guys can skip to the topic you're most interested in. So let's cut the bullshit and jump straight into it. Up first, if we thought the first buff to the FAMAS wasn't enough, we have yet another buff, increasing its recoil curve recovery delay from 0.68 to 0.8, as well as increasing its recoil recovery time from 0.8 to 1. So what does this mean? As you can see from the footage, comparing pre and post buff, it essentially means that whether you fire the gun slow or fast, the recoil pattern will not variate and will be more consistent. This also condenses the recoil vertically, turning it into a damn near straight line, making this gun more lethal than it already was. On a side note, while working on my controller aim training guide, I came to find that this gun fucking shreds on the sticks, allowing you to destroy any class at mid to far range with a huge margin for error. Please, please, today if you guys can, put down the F car and give this gun a shot for a few games. You won't be disappointed. Next up, we have the new map Horizon being added into the power shift map pool, and now players will be dealt damage if they were squished underneath the platform. We have a fix for the revive tab and respawn coins being swapped on the scoreboard. And last but not least, rank changes, with the addition of an end of match screen to indicate the change in rank, as well as an animation screen to show whether or not a player is moving up or down in rank. So hopefully this fixes the issue my friend was having, being stuck in plat 3 as I'm progressing my way through diamond. Even though we have played almost every single rank match together, having on average the same combat, support, and objective score. Also on the off chance that they haven't fixed it, maybe at least now we can obtain some proof that there is a glitch stagnating him in this rank. And that's about it for today guys, not the biggest patch, but I'd say a meaningful one at the very least. There is one more thing though I wanted to talk about before wrapping this up today, which is the cheating epidemic. I don't know if these cheat companies recently made an update or if the anti-cheat is that easy to bypass but right now if you have a high elo the cheating is absolutely horrendous in both pubs and ranked running into at least one every other game if not back to back i even came to a point yesterday where i literally had to stop playing on my main account and start playing on an alt because it got so bad. I really hope that Embark has another ban wave in the works because right now it is borderline unplayable in high level lobbies. I can't wait for that time to come to see all those pieces of shit going to support on Discord or writing a post on Reddit and crying about how they were banned for no reason. And I'm telling you right now, I'm going to drink those tears, marinate my food with it, bathe in it. Because some of these players even have skins that they have paid for in season one, meaning that they have been cheating for quite a long time and knowing that they have potentially lost money from this makes my day. You guys ruin everything you get your hands on, and I wish you nothing but the worst. Anyhow, I'm done with my little tangent. For the rest of the video, I'll be showcasing the new items in the store, and if you guys found this video informative and hate fucking cheaters, please smash that like button. Also, subscribe for all things the finals. Peace and love, guys.